Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we are doing our coin analysis on Restart Energy. I just completed a video on WePower and promised a video on Restart Energy, so here it is. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's get started. We have what is Restart Energy. We have the coin purpose, their team, their market cap, the competition and partnerships, their goals, the pros and cons of the project, and then we'll wrap it all up with a star rating from one to 10. So what is Restart Energy, also known as RED? Restart Energy Democracy is the number one outsourced energy provider in the country of Romania, and it is aiming to take its business model global. They are creating an ecosystem in which people will be able to pay for the energy they use with cryptocurrency. So what about their coin purpose? Restart Energy has two tokens. First, the RED Megawatt or MWAT token, which is the token being issued at the token sale and will carry the initial charge of 0.11 kilowatts, which holders can consume or trade on the platform with the energy related rights. The MWAT token is necessary to access the platform and the RED franchise. Owning a certain amount of tokens grants holders free access to the RED franchise as shown in the graphic this way. <laughs> the second token is the KW token, which is used for transactions on the RED platform. Each KW token is equivalent to one unit of energy and will be purchased by the users of the platform to be consumed or sold. MWAT token holders will receive KW tokens proportional to the number of MWAT tokens they hold. Next we have their team and as you can see I changed it up a little bit. Light blue will now be the star, yellow will be superstar, and green of course is multi-star. I'm doing this to make it more distinct, easy to read, and just easier for all of you. So Armad is the co-founder of the RED project. He gets his star for his work in the energy field. He has scaled Restart Energy in the last 10 years into a diversified energy company in Romania and developed over 500 projects. RED has been involved in almost 70% of the energy projects that were developed in West and Central parts of Romania. Their first superstar is Christian Bogdan. He's a CFO of Restart Energy. He gets a star for his work as the director of BRD, Director Corporate SME for BCR, and is seven years at Ricefin Bank Romania, where he finished as Corporate Regional Manager. Next, we have Adri Avram. He is the CTO of Restart Energy. He gets a star for his work at the European Commission. And then our next superstar is Azam and she is the PR manager for Restart Energy. She gets her superstar for her experience as United Nations rep. She was a committee member of the International Astronomical Federation, a strategic analyst for BMO Financial Group, and was also a member of the board of directors at Canadian Space Commerce Association. She's also worked at CNN as a World Report journalist and a research associate for NASA Research Center. Now, I don't have their advisors on here, but there are two I do want to bring up. There's Catalin Ivan. He is part of the advisory team, and he has been a member of the European Parliament since 2009. So this definitely could be that X factor that this project needs to compete with the fierce competition of like Power Ledger. Then we have Ayoko, and she's part of the advisory team. She's the marketing director of Japan of Kraken Digital Assets Exchange. I'm sure a lot of you use that exchange. She also took part in securing the agreement with Mt. Gox bankruptcy trustee for the company's support in the bankruptcy's proceedings. So now we have their market cap. We have a hard cap of $30 million, which isn't too bad. Actually, WePower was higher. They have 400 million circulating supply, 500 million total supply, and Red just finished its pre-sale, which had a 20% bonus. And you actually had to have a minimum of $10,000 to even participate. And of course, US is restricted from investing. So now we have their competition. We have, of course, Power Ledger. It's building a decentralized platform that enables interoperability between markets and units of electricity by way of token. Then we have WePower, which I just did a video on this, which aims to build a decentralized energy trading platform, which plans to launch its network in Spain in 2018. Then we have just local energy suppliers owning distribution companies that are licensed to sell electricity and so much more, as you can see above me, Sun Contracting Grid Plus. Now partners, they have a ton of partners, and I'm just gonna talk about the main thing. Below, or over this way, <laughs> you see that there are 3,000 plus companies that have chosen to use Restart Energy already, and that are partnering with them. That Not to mention the ones below that. They have so much potential already. Partnerships are huge, and they already have them. So now we have their goals, which is the roadmap, which is on the website. We have projected revenues of over 100 million in 2018, and they plan to be in eight countries with 135,000 customers. 
Then 2019, they will expand to 24 countries and have over 900,000 customers. 2020, 38 countries, 2 million customers. 21, 42 countries, over 4 million customers. 22, we got 45 countries with 6 million customers. And then 2023, we got 47 countries with over 9.4 million customers with an estimated revenue of 3.78 billion by 2023. So they have a pretty ambitious roadmap trying to take over 47 countries and over 9 million customers. It's going to be hard with all the competition in the space. And I guess we'll see what they do. So now their pros and cons. First, they're pros. They're a well-established company. They have a working product with a proven business model. The business is structured in the franchise model, which allows for a faster expansion. And then they've already won several awards in the token generation events, including best utility token. And now their cons. They're a local company that has yet to explore the global market. They're in a super competitive space with Power Ledger, WePower, Sun Contract, Grid Plus, and so many more coming into the market right now. And then they have a very ambitious idea. So their current progress will take years of development. Expanding to new countries may take a while. So expanding to new countries might present many legal regulations, and each country has their own, which could easily delay the roadmap significantly. And then finally, I do want to mention the roadmap is very vague. They definitely need to make this more detailed so we can see what their plans are outside of just expanding. So now they get an 8 out of 10 from me. They are, like I said, an established company in Romania, already have a working product, love their franchise model, gives the token holders an incentive to actually hold the token, and they've already won several awards, showing they're in the legit and they're doing great things. Like I said, they do have a lot of competition and a lot of regulations to get through. They need to get out of Romania to see if they're an actual serious contender in this energy space. But if they can do that and follow all the regulations, then I could see this project doing great things. So don't forget to research and invest wisely. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.